Okay guys, so before I start off this video, which I really should not even be giving advice on what I'm, I'm about to be giving advice on right now. Um, before I start the video, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on what I'm wearing on my nails. If you guys can see. Um, it's this color by OPI. It's called Do You Lilac It? It's like a pretty purple color. And then on my ring finger, I have the Sparkalicious, which I talk about all the time. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before I start going on a rampage because I, this, let's see, since January, I feel like, how do I even word this? I feel like high school, I'm, I'm so over it. I'm so over the drama. I'm, I'm over guys. I'm over guys treating girls terribly, thinking they can walk all over them. I'm tired of having to feel like I need a guy to be happy. I'm sick and tired of it all. Like, the day I graduate will be the most exciting day for me. Like, I cannot wait to never step foot on my high school again. Not that I, not that I don't like the people. I'm, I'm sick of everyone thinking that high school is everything. It's, it's really not. Like, to be perfectly honest, in about five, five years, you're not going to remember who you're even worrying about right now. Like, someone who you think is going to ruin your life, someone who you can't stand, who you just have, like, an anger for with everything inside you. In a few years, you're going to look back on that and be like, why did I even waste my time on somebody like that? Like, they're not worth my time. And really, all if you think about it, 99% of the issues in high school is boy problems. Like, if someone you're talking to is talking to a different girl, which is what I'm going through right now. It's not just one girl, it's more than one girl. And I just need to let it out. Like, I don't know. Like, I've talked to, like, a few of my friends about it. And, like, they all tell me, you know, you're stupid. You don't need to talk to this person. But it's like, I was talking to Christian and I said something. And this is what I said. I was like, 99% of my head knows that me and this guy aren't going to work out. I know he doesn't want a relationship and he is just, you know, talking to me because, you know, we get along, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I know we're not going to go out. I know we're not going to date. So why am I holding on? It's like the other 1% is like in my head somewhere. And I feel like that 1%, that 1% is like, you guys could maybe work out. And I'm holding on to that 1% for, I don't know why, because I know it's not going to. But Christian was like, that is what the problem is with, like, every single girl. Like, they find someone they like, they know it's not going to work out, and pretty much you want what you can't have. Once you have it, I mean, yeah, it's great for a while, but 50% of the time it doesn't work out. You end up breaking up in a few months. And I don't even know why I feel the need that I need to even hold on to this person Oh, it's just so, oh, I'm so over it. And like, I know I shouldn't be giving you guys advice on this or whatever, but like, if you guys have a similar situation, like if you start talking to a guy and, you know, straight up, he says, you know, I don't want a relationship. I'm not really looking for that. Cut him off. Like be done with it right then and there. I know it'll be a little tough. Like, I really wish I would have stopped myself sooner than how I am right now. Because now I'm just in way too deep, like, I waited too long to end it, and now I just can't, and I'm stuck in this mess of a situation, and I just really wish someone would have told me as soon as he said that, you know, you need to, just don't go any further with it. You can be friends, don't hang out, you know, don't really get too attached. I really wish someone would have told me that, and I think a few people did, and you know what, I think I ignored them, which is probably what you're going to do when you watch this video, but honestly, trust me, if a guy says he does not want a relationship, he really doesn't. He just wants to screw around with everybody. So, uh, I don't really know what else to say besides, like, I mean, I know I should, I'm pretty much, I need to be taking my own advice right now. I know that life will go on, and this isn't, like, the end of the world. I know there's more to life than this. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I needed to tell you guys that just because, I mean, sometimes it helps people, I guess, if, like, you tell them, like, from your own personal experiences. Um... So yeah, hold on, I got a text message. <sighs> Anyways, um, I just, I don't know. I feel like girls should be happy with themselves and not have to rely on a guy, you know, to make them feel special. Like, oh my god, I wish I could just, like, say what I wanted to say right now, but I can't. Because, I mean, I know people from my school watch these videos and they're probably going to be like, oh, who's she talking about, you know? 
but pretty much I can't stand girls who talk to guys that are clearly talking to somebody else I mean okay I'm kind of doing that dang I am doing that okay whatever I was talking to this guy first and obviously you know he's a guy he's gonna talk to other girls but when those other girls find out that he's talking to me that should be like oh you know back off you know he's talking to someone you wouldn't want anyone to do that to you right right yeah that's what i thought and another thing that bothers me is when guys you know they're they're talking to other girls beside you and from my perspective if you're going to talk to another girl please let her be like a little bit better than me like don't downgrade and I'm, i even told christian i was like i'm not trying to sound stuck up or like conceited or anything or saying that like i'm better than anybody because clearly i'm not but if you're going to talk to somebody like there has to be something better about her than me that's why you're talking to her you know what i'm saying like does that make sense like why are you going to talk to someone who clearly is not your type like so, oh i don't know how to explain it without being or sounding really rude but i don't know i just i wish that it was a lot easier than it is i wish i could like because you guys know like those type of situations where you know what you need to do but you don't do it like you know like okay this is the right thing to do let me let me do the opposite let me do what i know i shouldn't let me stay with this person and keep talking to him even though i know i'm gonna get hurt in the end even though i know he's not gonna want me i don't know why girls do that like i know i'm not the only one okay i know i'm not and it just really ticks me off and i hate I'm sorry, this is like a really like angry video, but I'm not really mad. I'm just like so over everything. Like I hate when people start new relationships and like they've known each other, what, a month? And they say they love each other. Okay, how do you even know them? Like in a month, you can get the basic info. Name, favorite color, where you like to shove your gut, and uh, if they can make you laugh. That's pretty much the basics, okay? You don't really know much of anything about anybody in the first month. So how can you tell somebody that you love them and that you're going to spend the rest of your life with them in a month? A month? Come on. Like, let's, let's be mature here. I just I had to get it off my chest. And you know what? I mean, I know people always say this, like, if the person you're talking to is meant to be in your life, they'll become a part of it. Like, you shouldn't have to try. But, ugh. Gr ugh. Like, I... I don't know maybe it's just me but like i hate waiting like i just want that person to be here like now like i don't know i i, I know i'm like kind of dependent or recently i kind of feel like i'm depending on guys to like make me happy which i don't know why because i've never really been like that or maybe it was just because like i was with someone for so long i didn't really realize it but i don't know i don't know i just wanted to let you guys know that if the, you're starting to talk to somebody and you really really like them but they say they don't want a relationship just cut them off cut it end it there find someone else or someone better anyway and if you're in a relationship with someone and they tell you they love you after the first month cut it end it get off like there's someone better okay someone who tells you they love you after the first month that's a psychopath okay how can you how can you eat oh i just i'm just <laughs> I'm being, I'm getting really angry right now. I don't know why, but I don't know. This probably isn't really a good video to put up, but I think I'm just going to put it up just because I feel like I need to vent and maybe other people understand where I'm coming from. Like, I'm not trying to be rude and I'm not trying to be mean about anything, but I'm just kind of aggravated, you know, but I'm trying to make the best of every situation. Like, I'm trying to be chill and I'm trying to not overreact and i'm trying to what's the word i'm looking for i'm trying to just be carefree i'm trying to not care about all everything that's going on i'm just gonna let what happens happens but then in the back of my mind it's like okay if i let what happens happen then something bad could happen and then i'm gonna be upset i'm gonna be the one who's hurt and then it's like wow i should have listened to everyone when they told me not to so my brain is like a big it's like a big bundle of confusion. Not really confusion because I know what I should do, but I'm not doing it. Why do I have a nail polish in my hand? Okay, this video is coming to an end. I know there wasn't really, like, there wasn't really a point, 
but just comment and let me know if you like my little venting okay no don't comment and tell me if you like my venting sessions because i don't really think i don't i don't know what i'm saying 